Thanks very much, Charles. Uh, Louise, um, you may have uh, come across the evidence from Dr Paul Litchfield last month, who was the independent reviewer of work capability assessments. He told us last month that strict protocols can require healthcare professionals to fail people in initial assessments, even though their professional judgment told them that the applicant wasn't ever going to get into work or hold a job down. And he described this as a degree of su uh, pseudoscience and an over-reliance on the numbers and um, and so I'm just asking, um, do you agree that that's the case and is there people that you've, your organisation supported that would uh, help, uh, help us form a view that that's what's going on? Yeah, so I think there's a couple of different things in there. Um, so firstly, as Charles said, the issue of how evidence is weighted and used is really opaque. And we have tried um, unsuccessfully <laughs> to, to find out how, how it's weighted. It's really difficult to get that information from DWP or from the um, providers themselves. Um, but what we do know is that lots of disabled people tell us that the evidence they've taken the time to collect Feels, it feels to them it's largely been ignored or, or dismissed, um, which does suggest that really this comes down to the assessment itself. Um, and then on the point about the sort of the, I think what you're getting at and what, what Dr. Litchfield was getting at is that the descriptors themselves are still very medical in nature. They don't really reflect the social model or the real world barriers that people face. Um, we absolutely agree with that. With that, with that, with that hypothesis, um, it, you know, I watched his evidence back, and I think he's spot on. The system hasn't changed appropriately since it was first developed, sort of forty odd years ago. It's still very much rooted in um, what can't you do? And you score points for saying that you can't do things, but there is no room in that conversation. In fact, it's not a conversation, really, is it? It's it's ticking boxes. There's no room to talk about the fact that, well, I might be able to do something if societal attitudes were different or if the transport network was more accessible and so on. Um, so yes, we do have his view that the WCA in particular, but also PIP is uh, is not it's not it's not the social model in action and it's not allowing people to express the real barriers they face or the real impacts of their condition on them.